morning, everybody. Uh, we're going to get started. I'd like to see a lot of familiar faces, and I'd like to see some new faces. Uh, I'm Rob Pasek, and welcome to Leaders Connect. Uh, we're going to uh, kind of do a, the networking, the connect part first here this morning, before we bring Mike Samuelson up to speak. And uh, it's going to be a real treat. Mike is one of the foremost motivational speakers and healthcare educators in, in the world, really. So we're in for a treat. And he's a dear old friend, and we've been buddies for a long time. But uh, we have a lot of people here from different walks of life. So we're going to just kind of have a, a quick stand up, sit down, and uh, see if I can get you the right world. So I know there are a lot of uh, CEOs that run startups. So if you're a person that runs a startup, stand up. Okay? So uh, how many we got? All right, so real quickly, John, say your name and your startup. Hi, John Cunningham, Functional Fluidics. So. And what does function? I can't even say. <laughs> I, I'm going to say something bad if I say Functional Fluidics, but go ahead. What do you do? Uh, we're developing a flow-based blood function assay. So okay. start up out of uh, Wayne State. So a medical device? Yes. Okay. And you got some people with you that work with you? Nope. Friends. Oh, just friends. Okay. All right, Francis. What do you do? What's your company? Uh, Francis Glory. The company is Phasic, early stage biotech company in Ann Arbor, coming out of the university. And what area would that be? Is it a medical it's, also, or a... it's uh, it's immunoassay protein tests are the best indicators of life, and we multiplex protein tests. Okay. And everybody who understood that, please stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So is it? A, is, is it? Would it be? A, it's a medical device. The, 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 test, the, more, the, the test, test itself. Okay. Yeah, we need to create those tests. All right. Very good. We're helping researchers. All right. Uh, I'm Jeff McKay. My company's Nifty Hoops. We've been in business for a few years, and I think we'll start up one of these days. Well, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so we do. Uh, we build greenhouses for the the, the local food movement. The okay. Food houses that so are it's not food. hoops like uh, played on the court. It's uh, the hoops. Sure. Yeah, we've got those other hoops to, okay. to contend with. We're gonna, right. yeah. we're gonna bypass. So you're in the food, food. you're in the food world. In the food world. Okay, and then uh, we have some people who more established businesses that run that been been in business for a few years. I don't. I think probably the longest standing one would be thirty some for almost forty. Steve, you might be anybody. How many years have you been in business, Stephen? Uh, thirty one. Thirty one. Can anybody beat thirty one years of being in business? Okay, you win, Steve. And Steve's only 31. Oh, you can beat it? All right, Steve, say what your business is, and we'll go from there. Yeah, I'm in a, a fitness shop. Uh, I, I work at uh, Running Fit. I'm one of the founders of uh, Running Fit. We're a running specialty store, and uh, we have eight in stores in Michigan. And uh, I am, yeah, I'm finishing up my career. I'm sorry. <laughs> so Steve is... Uh, uh, I knew Steve when he was about 20. Steve was 24 uh, when I met him, and he had just started the store. It was above Bivouac. And can you say what your business is? Yeah. Um, well, I'm, in, I'm involved in two or three, but I'm a partner in a company called Eat Local, Eat Natural. Eat no, Natural, okay, okay. Which is a uh, local farm, uh, sustainable farm meat and animal proteins distributing company. Okay. And I got my own little farm. Great. And I, you know, hey, what is your name? Tim Redmond. Tim Redmond? Great. And so while we're on this, how many people are in the food business? Stand up if you're in the food business. Okay. We got a few more. Anybody else? Food? Food? Well, Zingerman's, of course. <laughs> All right, Fran, Francis. So uh, Vince and uh, Sonia, what are you guys doing? We actually talked last time, so give us an update on what's. This is Vince Smith. He's Mike Vince. My name is Vincent Smith. I'm an athlete and working with other athletes to plant community gardens and also teach kids about health and nutrition. So our next project that we're working on now will be in Flint, Michigan. We had two cleanup cleanup days. We have five lots, like vacant lots, that we reached out to our fans, athletes, and, and other people in the community that came out and, and helped out. and. Also, just networking right now, talking to farmers, trying to get much, much more knowledge and to plant more seeds and to provide to, for their community. So I'm just excited right now to next fall to, to plant some more seeds and, and keep it going. 
Thanks, Vince. And Sonia's, you, you're partnering with Vince, right? Project manager. Project manager with Vince. Okay, so, uh, and Vince is, uh, we every month we talk about a not profit that we want to support uh, because we, up, up till now, we have not charged for the Leaders Connect. Although, beginning next year, we're going to charge a nominal fee. Uh, so, we'll, we'll let you know about that. But uh, we want to support local nonprofits. So, if you feel inclined, Vince's uh, nonprofit, uh, it's called Team Gardens, yeah. would be a great place to make a contribution. Like you say, he's helping teens uh, all through the country, from Florida up to through to Flint. To put on uh, to grow gardens and to really help the kids develop through their their knowledge. So if you want to talk to Vince or there's a website, right? Teamgardens.org. Yeah, .org. Teamgardens.org. Go, go on board and uh, you can uh, support that nonprofit. Uh, so we're talking about you mentioned Detroit and uh, how many of you are here and are part of uh, the Detroit Renaissance? The re okay, stand up if you're part of that. All right, uh, a couple other people I met that you're part of it. Stand up and be part of a... Formerly. Oh, formerly. All right, well, if you've got roots in Detroit, let's put it that way. If you're working in Detroit and trying to create jobs there and uh, create money, that's fine. You have to sit down. I'm going to sit down. All right. Uh, well, David, uh, well, David, why don't you stand up? And uh, David is actually, David and Vince uh, are going to be speakers in January. And uh, we're going to be honoring uh, Martin Luther King Day on January 14th for our next event. And one of the things we're going to be doing is talking about some of the things that are going on in Detroit. And maybe you could describe what you're doing, David. Well, uh, my name is David Tarver, and uh, I'm actually from Flint. So I'm going to talk to Vince about that green guard thing. Uh, but uh, I teach a course in the College of Engineering. Uh, it's a new course called Urban Entrepreneurship. And I run an organization called the Urban Entrepreneurship Initiative. And uh, what we do is try to get people to apply all this brain power and resources and technology to solving problems and creating products and services for people who live in urban environments. Uh, I guess the biggest example of a successful case of that would be something like Uber. Uh, but of course, there are lots of smaller cases uh, as well. And uh, we want to help people to, uh, to do that. Well, great. So, and uh, I met David uh, through our. We both teach courses for the Center of Entrepreneurship at the Engineering School, so we met and uh, been exchanging lectures in our class, and uh, it's it's very exciting to hear the things that are going on. So uh, let's see, we got going around other. How about healthcare? I know there's a lot of people here in the healthcare world. Uh, Ted back there, Heather, stand up if you're in the healthcare world. Okay, so. Uh, Haley, you want to say what, what you do? And Haley and uh, you guys work together? Yes. Yeah, okay, so maybe you could both say what you do. And uh, Haley's one of my students in my class, and uh, she had the ultimate uh, compliment the other night from another student. So we're having people talk about what they want to do with their careers. And this one very earnest young man who's an exchange student from Germany said, well, I've been thinking really hard in this class about what I want to do, and I've decided I want to be like Haley. <laughs> So you're a role model. Yes. Uh, so Haley, and you want to say what you guys do? I get your first name, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So Elizabeth work, and I work at HealthRise Solutions in Southfield. It's a revenue cycle management consulting company. So essentially, we work on the business end of hospital systems, trying to help them increase their revenue. And is there anything else you want to? And Elizabeth is my mentor, and she's awesome. <laughs> I, I do my best. Yeah. I came from kind of the digital health space down in Detroit, and I'm still involved with a couple of things going around around um, commercializing IP out of universities. Um, I've heard of a couple of you guys, so um, definitely looking forward to talking to you guys. Great. And then uh, we have um, now semi-retired, I can't think Connie's kind of ever fully retired, but uh, been a very prominent member of our healthcare community. Could you introduce yourself, Con? Yeah. I'm Con Doyle. I'm phasing out of emergency medicine, but still actively involved in disaster planning for communities on our state and national parks. So I got I got to know Connie. Oh, I guess we still got this going. And Connie, uh, right after 9/11, where she's was doing a lot of the planning in the community, continues to do so. And we've got a, a new member. Uh, 
Trent said it, I was going to say Trevor. Trent, you want to just say what you, you do? And I know you got a lot of background in healthcare as well. Right. Uh, my name is Trent Rourke. I'm the CEO of TLC Eye Care and Laser Centers. Uh, we are full service ophthalmology practice from LASIK to cataracts to glaucoma to retina. Um, we do studies and uh, we have offices in Michigan from Ann Arbor over to uh, Kalamazoo and then in Ohio along uh, the, the Michigan-Ohio border from Sandusky through uh, Toledo. So I met Rob, I appreciate the opportunity to come. Thank Welcome. you very much. In, in the back? Uh, I'm Tom Kerr. I actually work for the VA hospital here in Ann Arbor and uh, I have responsibility for one of our new process programs. Uh, we've been uh, connecting in new ways, largely with programs at the University of Michigan, the Center for Positive Organization, and the Engineering School of Business, different aspects of business. Bring some new thinking to our organization. Good things are happening at the VA, I heard. It's good. Good lots of good improvement. And uh, we got people here, I think. Well, let's see, we got Demon, you're you're in the healthcare area in a way. You want to say who you are, Demon? And uh, we'll put you on the spot there. I, 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 was, I was sneaking in. All right. Well, I'm calling attention. Demon, who's a little bit late. That's all. Late, I guess. Come on up, Demon. You can come up this way and. Uh, don't let them see I'm beating that junk <laughs> <laughs> was busy training early this morning, that, right? That's yeah. right, yeah. That's, that's, I'm just reloading my carbs. Um, so, some of you I know, but those who I don't, uh, Demond Johnson, I'm also with the Ann Magazine, so Myra's looking at me. Yeah, I'm here, Myra, I'm a little bit late. But I'm also with uh, A2 Fitness Professionals. It's a uh, health and wellness training studio. So we kind of specialize in the uh, holistic approach to health and wellness, not just exercise, exercise, but uh, every component that has to do with it. And, and I'm sure we'll be talking more about it. Yeah, you're, you're also doing some work in Detroit, I understand, Denby High. And I am Cody. Uh, Cody. Then, yeah, so we, so we do a little bit of mentorship as well. Uh, we do some career days, uh, health fairs pretty much. So all Great. over the place. So Demon and Vincent and David are going to be presenting in Jan on January 15th, which is our next Leaders Connect, and they're going to be doing a program in the honor of uh, Martin Luther King. I believe it's his, is his birthday, the 15th or the 17th? I'm not exactly sure. I think it's the 15th, but I, I could be wrong on that. But anyway, we're going to honor uh, Martin Luther King, and you guys are going to help us put together a program on that. So it should be pretty exciting. And a lot of the same work in Detroit, Flint, places like that. So, and, fun uh, stuff. Fun stuff. What time did you get up this morning? Oh, I got up at 4 a.m. Yeah, that's what I figured. He's an he's a so, yeah. army guy here. So. As a matter of fact, I was up early with our good friend, uh, okay. Anne Marie. Okay, she was good. in exercise. Anne Marie, who just uh, made a big sale of her company uh, for uh, batteries, right? Yeah. She said, tell you hello, by the way. All right, that sounds good. And then uh, let's see, we've got nonprofit folks in here. Who's the nonprofit world? All right, Heather, just say hi. Yeah, Heather Belkin with Evangelical Homes of Michigan. We're 136 years old. 136? Yeah. It's yeah. older than Steve. Yeah. yeah. So, but we have offices from Monroe up to Sterling Heights, and we take care of older adults. Maybe you've heard of us. We own Brighton Village. So, I yeah, fundraise for their charitable care. Great. And anybody else from the. Yes. Yes. Um, my name is Barbara Neese May. I'm the executive director of Safe House Center, an organization that um, supports over 5,000 survivors of sexual assault and domestic violence every year right here in Washtenaw County. We've been around for 40 years and um, and I am so proud to be part of Hope Every Day for so many. Thank you. Anybody else? Nonprofit world? Okay. How about the... Uh... I've got a little guy. So I work with the Austin Alliance of Michigan too. So anytime I have a chance to say their name out loud in front of people, I'll take it. All right, um, great. Yeah, so we're working with uh, providing families, uh, the, now helping them to navigate the of care, so from diagnosis all the way through adult care um, in the state of Michigan. And uh, what else we missed? Medical device. I know Neil's here, for medical device company, Neil Clint Thorpe. Anybody else, medical device world? Okay, what do you ladies do? Say hi. So, yeah. We work for MC3, and um, it's in the cardiovascular area, and yeah. so we're launching cannulas. We're making uh, cannulas for heart open heart surgery. Okay. Same thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, you guys have had some pretty big news coming out. And lots of uh, expansion and investment in MC3, Scott Mertz's uh, medical device company. So, yeah. congratulations. Where's your new facility? You want to tell people in case they want to drop in? 
Say sure. your name, too. Sure, I'm Kathy. I've been with the company since there's three of us. We were right over here at Liberty Wagner, and now we're out in Dexter at a large facility. So, yeah, big yeah. happening. So, tell them where you are. Because they're in the, you guys can come visit. You're crushing a brewery, right? right? So, you can yeah. visit you and then go to the brewery. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we kind of have our after hours over there. Yeah. It's Jolly <laughs> Brewery. We're out on um, Dexter off of the Antonio Road. And there's an industrial park right there. So we're right That's a great right facility you just built out. Multi million dollar Beautiful. facility. So. so, what am I missing here? We got nonprofit, we got healthcare, financial services. We got lots of financial service. I guess you're kind of in the healthcare world, I, too. I'm, I'm sort of, I also. Okay. All right, so, I'm kind of in healthcare. I'm also um, a co founder and board member of two nonprofits. Okay. But I'm coming here more as a mental performance coach and trainer. It's focusing on reducing stress to unleash potential. But I'm also, um, but I've done a lot of work in healthcare and worked dominantly in healthcare. So you gave some? Oh, Sandra Finkel. Sorry. And then, um, but I have two nonprofits I co founded. One um, is fairly new, it's called the Michigan Collaborative for Mindfulness in Education. It's about um, four years old. And then Jewel Hart Food Center. Okay, great. So if you want to get de-stressed, see Sandra, we'll, that'll do it, right? And, and also more sharpened and focused, right? Not just exactly. de-stressed. There exactly. you go. Well, how about uh, financial services, banks? We've got a few of those, all right? Oh, now we get the real activity here. Okay. <laughs> we finally got to people who have some money. This is good. This is very good. So, uh, hey, Chris, you, where's Chris? He's going to right talk about the bank, Bank of Ann Arbor, who's our sponsor. You want to just do a little uh, minute or two about Bank of Ann Arbor, and we thank you guys for being one of the sponsors of the event. Absolutely. We're very pleased to be a sponsor. Uh, I'm Chris Prisby. I'm the investment group manager at Bank of Ann Arbor. Uh, we've got a billion dollars uh, under management here locally for uh, individuals and businesses. We also serve local businesses uh, through our commercial loan department and our branch operations. Uh, I suspect there's a few Bank of Ann Arbor clients here today. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, we love supporting the local community and uh, and we're very pleased to be a sponsor and be part of Leaders Connect. I thought it was very generous of you to do an interest-free uh, drawing today, a loan for uh, was it a billion or a uh, billion? A billion, 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 billion. <laughs> Interest free for six months only. Yeah. yeah so uh, one day only special. One day only special. <laughs> uh, and let's see other health, other uh, people the financial. Carol Sewell, you guys got a new office here, right? What, do. Say yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, I'm Carol Sewell, I'm with Harbor Trust Health Advisors for a holistic health management firm. Uh, we just moved to town in September. Yeah. So Jim Winslow has been a regular, and Carol yeah. Sewell, and Gary Hoppola. So a lot of folks. Uh, New, new to town, well not new to town, but the new, new, in a new business. Sure. New, business. new business, yeah. Yes. And that, uh, Deb, do you want to say hi about what you do to interesting work that may be beneficial to some companies here? Uh, yeah, I'm a partner in B2B CFO. We're a, a partnership of 200 CFOs. We've gone rogue. We don't work as W2 anymore. We have a CFO in practice. Um, and um, I help new barriers to growth and prosperity for my business. So Deb provides a great service for small businesses, which is like a, if you can't afford a full-time CFO, she's like a CFO that will work a day a month, a day a week, whatever whatever is needed. And uh, it's a great service. I know a lot of people have used her. And so uh, you know, if you want something that's, that's a CFO standards, but you can't do a whole thing, that would be a great one. And we have, thank you very much. And Steve, you're uh, going to say what you're doing. Yeah, uh, Steve Burns. Uh former men's soccer coach at Michigan uh, for 19 years. Went through a career change though and um, have been working at, with Northwestern Mutual in financial planning and uh, uh, am looking at other opportunities and, and looking to network and Chris, thanks for putting on this awesome event here. Yep. Right. Can I just say one more? Yeah, thing? go ahead. Chris. I should have introduced, I have three colleagues here. David Norton's the manager of our stadium office. It's Michael Cole, uh, head of our technology uh, group and uh, Jackie Jenkins, who is part of our retirement services group. So I want to make sure you're just All right. like And so other, uh, there's a few people here I have not mentioned. I know you guys are with, uh, I, I guess, the information area. How, anybody, newspapers, information, services? Uh, you want to say about the Ann a little bit? Sure. Um, the Ann is a monthly news magazine for Washington County, and our primary 
Well, you know, we say news, but it's news and lifestyles. We have a big pumpkin news story perspective, and then the uh, side pieces, Vermont's health and wellness column, and a giving column that Safe, uh, Safe House has did a great job with last spring. Um, so we do lifestyle stuff too, and we are primarily distributed as a monthly insert into the New York Times on Sunday once a month in the Wall Street Journal. Um, Saturday. So it gives some really nice in-depth reporting that we don't get too much more in Ann Arbor. So it's nice event. to see that. Yeah. And uh, also several people here from the university. Yeah. All of a sudden. I'm sorry. Scott Phillips, uh, invited by Michael Cole. Thank you, Michael. Uh, the Searchlight, we're a service provider. We do customer discovery. We work with university tech transfer offices and business incubators like Ann Arbor, Spark, or So how would somebody want to connect with you? What would be, if they're looking for talent or... Uh, no, no. Uh, if they're doing, just doing an early stage, they've got an invention disclosure at university. Okay. We do early stage customer discovery, help them get to the right fit. Part I got you. Yep. Okay. The validation. Good, good. And uh, yeah, I know Richard, I'll say what you do, Richard, we'll go real round real quick here. And Rich Fruiter, I'm a business lawyer. I work with venture capitalists, angel investors, early stage companies. I help my clients make better deals. I noticed that uh, the only people here with ties on are the lawyers and the, uh, and the bankers. <laughs> That's because in venture capital we have a phrase which says, the guy without the tie writes the check. <laughs> So is that what is that are you really trying that or does it have a clip on it? <laughs> and now uh, see Ray, you wanna say hi what you do and uh, raise a new guest to Leaders Connect. We just met the other day. Thank you for inviting me, thank you. Good morning everyone. We are the Shell Station on State and Eisenhower and we want to just go because we uh, we're still in the market and we're gonna be in the market for the next few years, I guess at least. Uh, but the fate of a small business is just fading away, just like small pharmacy, small hardware store, small shoe store, computer store, all are gone, and gas stations is next. So don't be surprised in the next 10, 15 years, you don't see any more gas stations. It's going to be for the big guys to take over that Costco sense about uh, I'm also a part-timer in the university. You, you will, right? Yeah, very good. Uh, Teacher assistant for geographic information system. Oh. And that's your MG Great. Well, welcome. Welcome aboard. Anybody else want to make an introduction? I don't know if we touch no, anybody. Just... Got... Okay, go ahead. Uh, you got a new job, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. I do. Well, first, I want to thank those of you in the room who actually helped support me. There's a few faces I see while I was in my career transition. And when you said healthcare, I thought, wow, I am connected to that. So I have 20 plus years in nonprofit and management, but Kerry Pratt, sorry. And um, I've actually transitioned in the for-profit arena. I'm the director of operations for Corporate Cleaning Group. They've been in business for 23 years, and we actually specialize cleaning for medical facilities, schools, churches, have over 20 University of Michigan accounts, so specialty of surgery centers, and we do eye care. So anybody who's interested in that, I'm definitely here to network. And thanks again for those of you in the room who helped me with this transition, because yeah. it was a big one. Well, and while we're talking about that, there are a few people in the room who are in transition and are here uh, partly to talk about maybe looking for certain opportunities. So I don't know if anybody wants to, to speak up. If you have a chance, you want to say what you're looking for, it'd be a great opportunity. Not that, but I had... Uh uh, I probably, my name is John Wakeman. I probably don't belong in a leadership uh, meeting because earlier my wife told me to stand up and I stood up and she told me to sit down and I sat down. <laughs> Did you say fight, fight, fight? Yeah. So I, 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 I'm sorry, some marriage thing, but anyways, uh, I, 14 years ago started a renewable energy business, so I swear our energy is my company. I've been installing solar for that long. Excellent. Excellent. So anybody who's in the search mode, you want to say hi and what you're looking for and uh, opportunity? I'm doing it as soon as I get out. So I'm Joe Upton. Uh, I'm a co-owner of Edwards Brothers Malloy, a printer. We used to be on uh, State Street, we're now out on Jackson Road. Uh, I'm still an owner of the business, but I've left employment there, and I'm in transition from where Sherry was, and uh, looking for a leadership opportunity here in Ann Arbor. Okay, great. And hi, you got similar situation. Yeah, very similar. Uh, family business. Some people know uh, the business in town at Shar Music Company on South Industrial with the violins, violas, cellos, and bass. We've got uh, 100 people there. We have two facilities here in Ann Arbor, one in Beijing, 
And uh, it, I've been there for 21 years, and I decided earlier this year in the family business to move on to, to a new opportunity in town. So I've been networking around with venture capital and startup and some different business owners in the area for a next, similar to uh, the Edwards Brothers story, looking for a next challenge in my career. So I'm here working with Rob and just, uh, networking around town with business owners and leaders. Thanks. Great. Anybody else in that situation? Uh, I'm sorry, you're pointing to... Oh, your student just arrived. Oh, yeah, Dario just arrived. Hello, Dario. Hi. I already mentioned you to the class, but oh, this, really? this is Dario who I mentioned who wants to be like Haley. So. <laughs> <laughs> Dario, are you looking for work? You want to stay in the U.S. or are you... Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we'll 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 practicing this in class. Let's see. Um, this so my name is Dario, like Mario with a D. Very easy. Um, I'm taking Rob's class because I want to find out more about myself. And right now, um, I'm studying here. I'm from Germany. I'm studying here for one semester as an exchange student. And I will be going back to finish up my degree over there. And then I'm going to come back to find an internship here. Um, I'm not actually 100 percent sure what I'm looking for. I'm studying industrial engineering, but I want to work more um, around teams and, and um, yeah, I'm really interested in, in the, the structure and organization of, of a team. So if there's anything about team organization, that's exactly what I'm, what I'm looking for. Great. All right. See, they're going to hire you to work with me is what, what, what we're going to do. Right? <laughs> we'll talk, right? And uh, speaking of working with me, Michelle, you want to just introduce yourself? Michelle's my associate, and most of you know Michelle, but you just say hi. and. Uh, my name is Michelle um, I have been with Rob since about June. I'm his assistant, so if you need to get a hold of him or me, you can just email him and say, can you go, Michelle, this one's for you, or something like that. Um, I am also his teaching assistant at the Ross School of Business, which we have such a wonderful time with the students. Um, so it's a really wonderful opportunity. I have been in the Ann area about 30 years. My biggest contribution is probably mother. Um, so it's definitely the balance of finding work that I love and then for the then for my grown children and we have our second grand baby on the way, so we're very excited. Yeah. She was, I, heard, I was with Michelle when she got to call and tears came to her eyes, the first <laughs> grandson coming into the family, all right. And um, also uh, you know, we're, we're if you notice the Dr. Rob Bundy column has gotten a little bit better, that's because Michelle is a very good editor and has been working with me on that, so I appreciate all her help on that. So I think we've covered lots of folks. There's probably a few we missed. Uh, anybody else want to say something that I didn't call on? But this is the networking part, and uh, I appreciate it. I, I do have some uh, sad news, and I, I wanted to pass this on. Some of you probably have already heard this, but one of our close friends and a member of the Leaders Connect community, uh, Sandy Eiler, uh, passed away on Wednesday. So Sandy is just a wonderful person in the community. Uh, how many of you know Sandy? Probably a lot of people know Sandy. She's very well known. Uh, and I don't know the details, but it was an auto accident. Just read about it in the paper. But I thought we could just spend a, a moment of silence uh, thinking about and praying for Sandy's uh, family and her well, well, well-being the passage here. So. Let's just take a moment of silence and then we will move on.